boy do we have some wrestling to talk about man um yeah this things are things are crazy in WWE right now this image the rock in roman reigns right is an image that's been photoshopped for years people at least basically since roman has been the tribal chief character people have wanted to see this match it was a it was a logical match to have right given their you know family stuff their their, their family relation you know the Samoans, the Anoais, the the bloodline, right? But what happened at the end of SmackDown last night? Oh, people are pissed. I watched this live last night. Uh, Cody comes out, you know, he won the Royal Rumble, right? So, we're all assuming, all right, he's going to choose to pick Roman Reigns to face at WrestleMania. I mean, when he, run, when he won the Rumble, he literally pointed at Roman, right? So, he cuts his promo, you know, says all the stuff about how, you know, he's got to finish the story. What does finishing the story mean, you know? Is finishing the story simply taking the title, or is it taking everything away from Roman, right? Goes on to say that, He is going to face Roman Reigns for the title, but not at WrestleMania. And out comes The Rock. And I was, I was shooketh, okay? I was, I was shook. Like, I was, it was a, it it was a rollercoaster of emotions because I was like, oh my God, Rock versus Roman is absolutely happening at WrestleMania. Like, they're about to have a face off. But then quickly, I was like, wait a minute. What the hell does this mean for Cody? And Rock comes in, he and Cody shake hands, you know, uh, he pulls him in close. They, Rock says something in Cody's ear, and that's been memed to all hell. Cody's face during the the whole thing has been memed to all hell. And the internet is not having it, you know. The WWE fans are not having it. They're not having it. That entire video, that entire segment that, that... They put up on YouTube, on WWE YouTube channel. It is the most disliked YouTube video for WWE ever. Ever. It's like, right now, last time I checked, it's like like 57,000 likes to 200,000 dislikes. 200,000. The most disliked video ever, man. For something, for a match that people have wanted to see for a while. And as well deserved. Cody's face. Look at his face. You can't tell me there's not disappointment in this man's eyes, bro. Like, you can't. That look has been memed, like, so, so extensively, man. It's like, look, I get it. Rock versus Roman. It's a big match. It's a, it's a bigger match. But you can't tease us you can't string us along with the cody's gonna finish the story at wrestlemania you can't have this man point at roman after winning the rumble and then do this you can't do it you can't sideline you can't cuck cody now here's the thing the only way this will be logical the only way that this will be worth it and cody's not cucked if you go back to the promo cody said i'm not gonna face you for the title at wrestlemania I truly think the only way to salvage this is Cody pulls a John Cena. If you recall when John Cena won the Royal Rumble in 2008 when he came back, he said he's going to face Randy Orton at No Way Out instead of WrestleMania. If you have Cody do that and he decides to face Roman at Elimination Chamber in Australia, Cody beats him there, takes the title there, Roman vs. Rock still happens at WrestleMania, but it's not for the title because it doesn't need to be for the title. It's a big story that is above title, right? You could, again, going back to what Cody said, you know, is finishing the story taking everything away from you. I think what that could mean is Cody takes the title. That's part one. Rock, you know, with with Roman vulnerable no longer having the championship, the Rock is prime to take the mantle of head of the table. That's part two of taking everything away from Roman. Cody theorized last year, all the way back last year, that 
if Roman loses the title, everything starts to fall with it. Jimmy leaves, Solo leaves, Heyman leaves. So, if Cody was to take the title from Roman at Elimination Chamber, now Roman Roman has to be desperately clutching onto the mantle of the head of the table because now it is in jeopardy. The Rock is coming for it. I think that, that right there, is the only way you salvage this. If that doesn't happen, if Rock versus Roman Reigns happens at WrestleMania and it's for the title, and Cody goes and faces Seth for the title, you've cucked Cody. Hard. You've messed up the story big time. And according to Dave Meltzer, right, the plan, literally, until CM Punk got hurt, was to do Cody versus Roman at WrestleMania. But Punk got hurt, and it messed up a lot of things. You know, Brock Lesnar being implicated in the Vince McMahon scandal messed up everything. Because if you look at... This is why I think... This is honestly why I think the Cody versus Roman at Eliminates Chamber has to absolutely happen. Because if you look at Eliminates Chamber, it's a big show. Australia's paying, there would be a lot of money for that. And because of circumstances, the star power on that show is really down, right? Seth Rollins is hurt. He's not going to wrestle again until Mania. He's trying to make it at WrestleMania. He's not going to be on the show. Roman Reigns originally was not scheduled to be on the show. Which means you would have had neither world champion on that show. CM Punk got hurt, not going to be on the show. He was he was originally scheduled, he was originally advertised to be on the show. He's injured, he's out. Brock Lesnar evidently was going to be on the show. He's going to face Dominic Mysterio. Brock's not going to be there. He's out because of the Vince McMahon stuff. So literally, any star power you had would have been non-existent on that show. That's why I think my theory that you know, they went to Roman, they said, hey, man, look, with what happened, we're not going to have any stars on that show. It's going to be a glorified house show. We need you at Elimination Chamber. We need to do this at Chamber instead of Mania. And then then you can have Roman versus uh, Rock at Mania. That's why I think that's going to happen. But if that doesn't happen, then they've just simply messed it up. And... If they don't do that, if they go the route where Cody has to face Seth at Mania, which is such a stupid idea, because Cody's already beaten him three times. So what's going to happen? You're going to have him beat a broken down, hobbled Seth Rollins a fourth time, right? Or you're going to have Seth finally get a win over Cody, and thus Cody loses back-to-back WrestleManias? I don't know what... The Elimination Chamber... Cody versus Roman is the only thing that makes sense. If they don't do that, the fans have spoken, right? The fans have spoken across. Like it's not just a Twitter thing. It's not just oh the internet wrestling community going on Twitter crying. Nah, man, people are pissed. They are not having it. They've shown you through social media, YouTube. That, that is mind boggling to me, dude. Of all the terrible creative stuff the WWE has done. Rock and Roman, the most disliked video ever. It's like 2015 over again with the War Rumble. Ironically, in Philly. <laughs> it's also just very ironic because in that promo, Cody and Punk had, what did Punk say? You're going to have the CM Punk experience of a bigger star coming to take your spot. Now, he was, of course, talking about himself, but as we see now, it was The Rock. <laughs> so let me know what you guys thought about this whole thing, man. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think we're going to get Cody versus Rock, or excuse me, Cody versus Roman at Elimination Chamber? Cody finishes the story there, takes the title, and then Rock versus Roman happens at Mania? Or do you think Cody is simply going to get cucked and he's not going to get his moment at all this year? Let me know in the comments down below, man. Make sure to like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.